Jabra kwanza habari inasema kwamba submit yourself to God. Submit to God. And number two, resist the devil. Amen. You know, there are some people kuna watu wanaopinga shetani lakini hawajajipeana kwa Bwana. Hallelujah. Amen. Bible inasema kwamba submit to God, jipeane kwa Mungu kwanza. Jabra pili, mpingeni shetani, naye atawakimbia. Mkaribieni Mungu, naye atawakaribia atawa ninyi. It is our duty to resist the devil. And number two, it, 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 this is a sequence. Submit to God. Resist the devil. Amen. Karibia mungu. Now, hallelujah. Now, kuna wakati wapendwa, kuna kitu kina itua zone, zone, maeneo. Kuna maeneo mtu hufika sasa. Maeneo. Shetani ata sasa. Maeneo na ufika. Devil fears you. Devil fears you. Ukitajwa anakuogopa. Ukitajwa anakuogopa. Anywhere you are mentioned. Anywhere. Now let me tell you the truth. Unavia tumaketi hapa. Katika ulimwengu wa rohatu fanani. Katika ulimwengu wa nini? Wa roho. Yes. I want... Hii kitu ni maiona ni kieda vita. Missions. Kieda missions na watu. Mimi, sometimes, sasa ni meza kuogopa. I always say, please, 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 don't just invite people. Watu, si vile tunawaona inje. Sometimes, I remember one time, tuenda kuombea mtoto moja. Umtoto, ni katotoka doko, lakini she's a witch. Deep witch. I tell you, Tulikuwa na wapendwa wengine. Umu toto ni kumkaribia na sikia hana nguvu. Hii pepa hana nguvu. Lakini haitoki. Tukiomba ni kaona dada moja, anashika bibiria na muekelea. Ni kajua the group I have here. How? Apana. Ni kawambia sasa ondokeni, 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 and then ituna amani, and then mkakunyo chai. Nilipo muangalia kare kasichana, do you know ata siku oba? Kumuangalia tu, Demon screamed ni katoka. Kumuagalia peke yake. Na wale wantu tulikuwa nao ni wale workers abao na amini wana mamulaka. Not many people couldn't dani. Wana, they are careful. Si watu wengi katika hile hali ya kujia da kwenda binguni kujia da kwa vita wamejijenga watu wengi katika ukawaida ukawaida wa pesa ukawaida wa kuongea ukawaida wa temperament watu wengi si wazuri ushuhuda ko naye lakini si mtu mtaenda naye vitani siku moja nikaenda kuhubiri Busia Road hiyo maeneo kuna mtu ambaye alikuwa amepagawa from Nyanza na watu wamejaribu wahubiri Sasa nipo tokea wakasema tumepata muhubiru mpia. Nikabua kuja. Nripo enda nikangale ujamaa nikambia nipeni munda. Nipeni nini? Munda. Nikaita watu wawili tufunge kama siku ine. Na siku ya ine tuende vita. Na tulipo kwa tukienda. The more tulikarimbia wenzangu walianza kuraramika. Kaza pasa mjugaji. Si uturuhusu utubaki. Nika waambia. Siku ine. Tumeomba. What are you doing? Tulipo eda sana. Tukaona shure hapa. Si uturuhusu tuingi hapa tujitakasa. Nika waambia siku ine. Bona you. Are you not click? Kujitakasa nini? Nika waambia hata hizo siku ine. Hatu kuwa tumeda kujitakasa. Tulikuwa tumeda kupokea nguvu. Nirijipata na ingia yu nyumba peke yangu. Now I'm at Wawiri, even today they don't exist in the church. I came to discover katika siri, they are not good. We, kuna vire, unajua sasa, 
Demons husoma siri. Siri ya mawazo, siri ya personality, na siri ya matendo. Na hebu niwaambie, hebu niwaambie kidogo. Tutaka poenda mahali kama eh kama tafsiri nyingine watu waliada Tanga. Pastor mmoja wetu akanyongwa usiku karibu arudi Nairobi. Tukienda maeneo mahali we are facing the devil. Kile ambacho hutokea ni siri ya mtu. And demons are able to see. Mtu ambaye katika uhalisi wako wewe ni msharati. Mtu ambao katika akili wewe ni muongo. Mtu ambaye katika ukawaida wako huombi na kufunga na kuambia ukikalimbia mahali kuna witchcraft, mahali kuna uchawi na ushetani, watu wengi huogopa. It's true. Hello, praise God. The other day nilikuwa na choma hilisi. Cham. Na mwenye kuleta alipokaribia gate ya kanisa pale he was almost fainting. Demons attacked him. Ni kitu alipewa kimemharibu. Nikamwambia enda hata haraka kufika pale. Hakufahamu. Ilibidi wa mama wakipita mambio naenda wapi wewe? Apostolic faith. Si ni huku. Nipo chama hiyo kitu I realized kama hujaomba. Hiyo ni hata sikepea baba mama asichome hiyo. Hiyo sikepea mtu mwingine achome. Vile mwezea kushika hiyo unaenda kuchoma tu un, kama hujaomba kama hujakuwa mtu wa vita unajiada it was so strong na ilichukua long long time kuchomeka but i could sense the powers the powers are you ready for warfare do you live ukijua kwamba kuna mahali utafika do you know something there is no way utaingia university bila kufanya mtihani wa KC. There is no way utapata PhD bila kufanya master's degree. There is no way utaingia binguni bila somewhere somehow kungangana na gome za giza mpaka zikuinamie na zikutabue. Na sisemi na huyu ni wa binguni. Binguni hatuingii kwa rehema. Binguni tunaingia kwa kufauru. That's why Bible nasema katika kitabu cha Revelation ukiangalia vizuri eh, chapter 12 verse 11 inaongea kuhusu nyoka shetani na wale walio mshida Bible nasema nao wakamshinda Hebu angalia kitabu cha Ufunuo 12 Hebu tusome uh, aya ya 10 nikasikia sauti Kuu binguni kisema sasa kumekuwa wokovu na nguvu na ufaume wa mungu, wa mungu wetu na mamlaka ya kristo wake kwa maana ametupwa chini mustaki wa dugu zetu yeye awastakie bede za mungu wetu mchana usiku ametupwa but something interesting verse 11 revelation 12 verse 11 now wakamshinda kwa damu ya mwana kodo na kwa neno la ushuhuda wow and they overcame him is an issue of overcoming amen is an issue of what overcoming overcoming wilson angalia hapa kidogo is an issue of overcoming ukati tu hapo sikiza sauti is an issue of overcoming. Overcoming. Is an issue of what? Now wakamshinda. Kwa jiagani? Kwa ushuhunda. Wa, kwa damu ya mwanakodo. Na ushuhunda. Wa, na ushuhunda wa midomo yao. Na hawaku penda maisha yao. Hii nasema hawaku. Let me say something. Kama wewe hujipenda sana. Sana. Hello, praise God. I, I don't, I, I, if you love yourself so much, nivigumu sana uwe muhuduma. It's very hard. It's very hard. It's very hard. 
kuna mahali utafika huduma itakukataa kama unajipenda sana kuna pahali huduma na hali ya, ya haya kuna ma, two things zitakukataa huduma kuna mahali utapita number two number two kuna pahali Mungu hataweza kufanya kazi na wewe if you insist so much on yourself on yourself you cannot be able to love god well mungu hudai hivi inasema hivi unipende na moyo wako wote nafsi yako yote na nguvu yako yote si ni kweli ha niangalieni kama mungu amedai ni mpende na moyo wangu wote na akili yangu yote na mwili wangu wote mimi nimebakishwa nini you see god demands everything kama mjumba wa huduma mungu kwanza anakudai ukiwa wote sometimes god claims all your money check any man of god who is rich alianza na mungu kudai kila kitu Agaria biography au kama kama Kenneth Copeland na wengine akina Osborne akina Bonke utakuta anasema nilikuwa na gari nikaabua niuze yote nilikuwa na nyumba nikaabua sell all this as a huduma kuna jamaa moja alikuwa nini tajiri sana akata kwa Yesu alio bwaje usa kila kitu pea maskini akasema hiyo sheria ni ngumu akaabua ni vingumu sana kuingia kwa kingdom. Can you imagine? Have you ever thought about that friends? Baba Ngoli, have you ever thought? Ali abana. Ali kwa very rich. Very rich. Na ba, oh, anasema, eh, nimefata sheria zote. Eh, akabwa, oh. Only one is remaining. Na ndio hii. Sell everything and come. Sema hiyo ni ngumu. Hizo kamia na is hard now to enter the kingdom now and that's why he same ya tazo sema kwamba hawakujipenda hawakupenda maisha yao they they love not their lives unto death is one of the qualities za wale wataingia kuna mahali tunafika wapendo let me do something nimekuwa kwa huduma miaka kama 40 or even more na most cases mtu haanzi na mali mtu haanzi na wewe mwenyewe unaishia kwa Mungu naye Mungu anakutukuza that one najua mtasema amen lakini si wengi wataweza hiyo hello bwana asifu sana Sometime you are misunderstood. I remember one time niliambua please walk out of our family. Mimi nilifukuzwa. Kwa kabisa. And the good thing hauna deni na mtu. Katika huduma nimeteseka but I've never been bitter with any person. You know why? Kwa sababu haikuwa mambo yangu na watu. I never suffered because of people. I suffered because of sacrifice. Are you understanding? Ni mimi nilijitoa kuhubiri. Kwa hivyo sikuwa na deni na watu. Mara nyingi ningehubiri na sina fair. And I could see people have money na siwezi over at a fair. I I dared walk usiku saa tatu. Nilikuwa nakaa na dora bwana. So sometimes I end up petrol station na be a watchman please can I spend night here kesho asubuhi ni ada mguu lakini siope mtu pesa stuck and i tell you friends those are experiences ambazo ni za mwito si zako na mtu ni za mwito na sio kwa bwana maskini unajua sasa people make mistake mimi nikakaa siku tatu ina si chakula hiyo i was not poor i was never poor my heart was never poor my mind has never been poor 
Ungeniuliza sasa vile unakaa Dandora who are you? Nikakwambia niko Dandora lakini akili na moyo wangu ah niko bali zaidi. Even today niko bahati lakini akili yangu si bahati. Moyo wangu si bahati. Moyo wangu hallelujah. You are not the wewe wewe si mazingira unaokaa ndani yake wewe ni kile Mungu alisema utatimiza na ukifika pahali upende sana mahali unakaa kabisa katika mwanawe kujua hivyo if today ile gari niko nao nitaipenda sana nitazuia Mungu kunipa another idea kama ile nyumba na kaa nitaipenda sana na nisifu nitazuia Mungu kunipa another wisdom. Do you know you can be a fool? Ya ile nguo na To you you are very smart. But you are not yet smart. Kuna suti nyingine hujapata. Give God chance to show you another one. Amen. Ile kitalo na laria unaza wisifu sana. But it's okay, it's good for now. But it's not good. There is a chiamugu space. Yes, to show you another level of glory. You shall move from glory to glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think a few months ago, I was able to Bishop nilikuwa na jua nikijificha utaabiwa. Kaambia mzee ka hapa. Nipo mpatia nafasi ya test mwana sema hivi. Sahi ni mgojwa lakini alikuwa overseer za money. Aisema maneno ambao wale mnajua kanisa should think. Aisema nimekuja kuona yale Mungu alinionyesha zamani. Arafa kasema na hii haitoshi kuna ingine nilionyeshwa ataka kaondoka tripo kwa kikopi nikamwambia baba sababu wewe ulikuwa overseer wetu baba wetu shika mafuta fuata kinachikane mwagia huko yeye alishika akaanza kulia kaza why you cry kabia bishop nilikuwa overseer wa kanisa wakati kulikuwa na taabu sana na hii mambo ambayo inafanyika leo niliyaona lakini si kujua kama itatimia akasema nashukuru Mungu imetimia nikiwa hai na nimeyaona na akaanza kulia there is still another house <laughs> there is still another good dress there is still a better thing for your children hallelujah the moment una hiyo tabia is very easy to be a prophet It's very easy for God to send you somewhere. It's very easy for God to unveil another glory to you. Problem to kono kanisani na hamjui. Watu wengi hawataki kupinduliwa na Mungu na hawataki kusturiwa na hataki kitu kingine. People are so conservative. Now, sometimes when ni vizuri ukilala, abia Mungu, God naenda kulala but i'm still open to you lord nanda kubiri crusade baba i'm open to your glory ukitaka hata kuvuvua mungu kuvuvua wafu i'm open ukitaka leo bwana kuokoa watu million i'm open can you just give god a greater chance he will speak to you hallelujah kwa hivyo hii tabia tatu hawakupenda uhai wao it has several meaning hao ni watu ambao initially walipenda Mungu na meo yao yote mpaka ikabaki hawana upendo wao and number two, ni watu ambao katika huduma they could be anything for god and they could endure anything for god haya ni watu ambao hawakutosheka ni watu ambao kila wakati waligojea Bwana for yet another glory. Bible says Abraham alikaa kwa hema. 
akihama hama akitazamia muji ambao mwenye kujenga ni Mungu na mikono yake still waiting for another glory that is powerful amen tambia hizo aha uh-huh. ushuhuda wa midomo yao number 2 damu ya mwana kodo and number 3 hawakupenda uhai wao mpaka mwisho they never love themselves they love god so much to the end that one you make we are winner waweza in most cases watu wengi wana damu ya yesu watu wengi wana ushuhuda lakini wanakwama kwa ya tatu they love themselves they love themselves kuna mahali mungu ufika anashidwa what do i do huyu mama hujipenda huyu kijana hujipenda huyu mshiriki mshirika hujipenda huyu pastor huyu bishop hujipenda na kwa sababu hiyo sasa he cannot be anything for god he cannot endure anything for god he cannot be anything for god remember i gave you the three things I can be anything for God. I can endure anything for God and I can be anything for uh, for God. You can write those three. Eh? They never loved their lives. I can be anything for God. I can do anything for God and I can endure anything for God. Those three qualities they contribute and they constitute so much kama utafika kwa maana ubinafsi kwa maana upiti and that's what we are saying now we are talking about resist and stop him in just Christ name hallelujah bwana asifiwe now kuna kuna mambo mawili matatu sasa tutamalizia hii topic naye to recover mawili matatu last time but let's go now to the fourth one moja ni kubukeni tuliona ile fast summer chapter 16 jia moja we need to resist and stop the devil hallelujah nikupokea upako kama wa david ambao hawezi ruhusu aibu iendelee i say friends we need that let me something katika family katika huduma katika biashara kuna a kind of anointing ambayo Mungu upea mtu inasema enough is enough na sita ruhusu tena hii aibu iendelee I will not allow this again I will not allow this again anointing that starts na kusema kama David aliposimama kwenye bonde akasema ni nani huyu hajatahiliwa amepata wapi ruhusa ya kudhihaki jeshi takatifu la Bwana this one must be stopped kama wewe hujasikia hivyo you have not resisted enough hallelujah kama ukienda kwenu nyumbani nataka muniangalie hivi kuna roho inaitwa roho ya defeat Royal defeat ni hivi and the devil is using it na hasa siku hizi anaitumia sana kwa watoto and marriages unakuta kuna mtoto amengeta sika mnajua hivyo siku hizi wazazi wale watoto wamefika teenage wale watoto wamefika miaka 18 20 i tell you wapendwa <laughs> zamani ilikuwa nasema ni discipline eh kiboko na nini Ulizeni hao wazazi wa kina mama wao sio kwa baba na wengine wale watoto wamefika hata wao ni wakubwa siku hizo wana wana maikara kwa gome na deru leo Ukikamo taamua hao vijana mshidane nao kimwili miaka 2 utakuwa umeenda binguri wewe Roho itapiga Kwa maana katika hali ya utu kimwili wao wanajegeka katika hali ya utu wewe unazeeka you can't compete and there is a lot of demonic powers zinapitia katika utu wa watoto musasi asipojua na no zipo bereni bereni wapendwa muzazi ageongea kwa sababu ya heshima na tabia oh, naogopa unasema sitaki kukosea mzazi 
wala wa siku hizi hizi kitu hizi kuna sikai inaitwa bill of rights or rights for children is extreme hasa ukienda America America ukienda ibada mtoto aamue kwa ibada kucheza PlayStation mkiabudu huwezi muuliza mtoto aamue kukaa na laptop hivi mkiabudu niambia mtoto simaeni anaambia don't know bishop is there right as a simama wa katai kwa ibada nikasema mimi si muamerika nitawaachia wa amerika wenu huku hello praise god unaenda nyo mtu ambaye now let's pray together kijana kifikiri kuendelea kuona tv na nyinyi na nyinyi muombe atuwezi muuliza Britain mtoto akienda nasari kucha kwanza anafudishwa ni kuwa adui wa mzazi anapewa police hotline mtoto kata kale kadogo wakifurishwa abc whatever anapewa police hot na anaambiwa how be your mother and neighbor au watu wa sura anaambiwa sasa in case mzazi akikusubua piga hii simu nikaingia nyumba moja siku moja ya rafiki yangu UK nikakuta ako na stroke mzee rafiki yangu ako na stroke hivi kama no mzee what's wrong akambia bishop it's my daughter it's my daughter kitabu tuongee that daughter ananijua sababu nikatoka kwa kadogo kakatokea kwa gate kakasema dad what are you saying akambia baba yake nikiweko dad nonsense baba kajikuja sasa so, bishop siwezi ongea nikiongea police wataitwa and of course kuligana kule mtoto ndio number 1 mama ndio number 2 mzee mwingine akapata mke wake na mwanaume kwa nyumba akasema utaona na huyu eh hey, no ni goma mama akaita polisi polisi walipokuja hawakuuliza nani mwenye boma nani muke polisi waliuliza katikati ya hao wanaume wawili nani anakupatia amani mama akasema yule kijana mzee alifukuzwa kwake So hiyo kitu mnapoona mabadiliko ya katimba na kuna kitu kinaingia university na high school and the other day kuna mke wa mchungaji aliambia kijana yake kujo nisaidie tutegeleza maharagwe kijana kaambia mama mama you need to understand the times si kama wakati wa mbele this is child labor i will not do it mama kasema hapana Mama aliweka chodo chini akasema utaniua leo. Na nikimtu mkukubwa walipigana. Na anamwambia mama hata unipige. I will not do it. Haki yangu. It should not happen. Huyu sasa niambieni kama huu kama huu mama hata kocheka moyo. Mtoto amezaa hawana pesa. Hii ndio maharago wanategeneza wakauze ndio apate school fees. Mtoto anaamka ile sana taka. Na ni kwako. Analala ile sana taka. Anaenda mali anataka. No kimuuliza, unasikia kama kuna nguvu zinakupi? Zinakupinga. You we are being forced to comply na forces that we don't know. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hello. Anapata miba anazaa nje unakuta the forces about ziko zinakuambia nao just accept na hebu e, we na muniangalie vizuri tuongee unajua saa zingine zizi watu kuongea si wasipo niambia point 1 point 2 we must speak about the situation kwa maana tusipoongea mambo ya pale nje hapa kule nje kuta gospel will be irrelevant na wazazi mlio hapa msijifanye mumewezwa wala hawajaweza na tutototoni tudoho lakini wala wana watu wakubwa kana kina baba Jimmy baba Dennis wao kusua wakubwa sana rika hii wako naona ndio nainuka kidogo na muka kusaidie kenywa anaguruma siku hizi misi jage anajua Mzee kama huyu hao ndio wale wazee ukanyanga juu ya meza anasema nini iko toka na bodo huyu. <laughs> Sasa hiyo roho inapiga. Arabu ukoje baba wa bia dadi? 
Siku hizi ukachabuka wanakuchakelea. Dadi lina kusumbua. <laughs> Ukifikiri haya. Hello. And then maybe it's your daughter. Unapata mkisumbuana anaenda kwa aunti. Aunti yake haongei kama wewe. Aunti ndio namharibu. Unaogopa because the following day ukimtisha utakuta kwa gate anagojewa na wanaume wanamwambia wewe ni wa maana nani anakusumbua ni baba that's all na akienda akienda hupati dawali unakuta amechukuliwa na anaambia mwenye amemuoa baba yangu ni mjinga sana unaachwa na ile huzuni ya kuzaa mtoto akakwaibisha we are living in a time ambao kuna roho ya defeat all over the world inapiga roho za wazazi through children na hawajali kama baba au mama atapata blood pressure they don't care umia those forces zikona link link directly or indirectly na devil worship satanic system new world order wanasema is new world order na kama hatutajua jia ya ku resist kuna shida may god help us now may god help us now na tunahitaji sasa two things kama wazazi number one, you need to be prophet bereni tulikuwa we bereni tulikuwa discipline masters bereni tulikuwa the head of the family <laughs> but i want to give another title be the prophet of your family be the priest of your family kama utalea watoto mpaka siku hizi uone wameoa si vile utakuja mana uso kama kaini be the prophet na uanze mapema uanze mape uanze mapema anza mapema be the prophet be the priest and be the protector of your family kama utakana watoto wako the way to tumezoea ati unawaona tu ukipeana school fees unawaona tu ukiwakemea unawaona tu hoteva na kuambia sasa ni kubaya kuna vijana walikuja hapa kwa ofisi kwambia bishop nyinyi hamjui tulianza kuindwa tukiwa salary 6 na nani wanaume wengine kwa estate wananiambia even they come kwa hapa kwa gate oroba mkapeleka wapi tukalipiwa gari mkapeleka wapi town wapi kuna clubs iko town ambao watoto huperekwa na unakuta kumewekwa miraa kwa meza na bangi wanaongea mambo ya kufagia meza anaambia hiyo imelipiwa hii imelipwa sulilipwa fare hii hii imelipwa vuta hii bangi maiza hii miraa and then katika hizo mikutano wanawekwa kwa whatsapp groups and sometimes they enter covenant wanadungwa hapa na naambiwa sasa mwaga damu yako wewe leta yako mwageni hapa as they do it they get possessed mwenye anawafanyia wanawaita masters kuna mmoja hapa aitwaambia master wake ako isiri na akatwaambia bishop nikijulikana nitauawa mwingine aitwaambia hapa kwamba the master wake ako westland kuna mwingine tulimuona hapa as a teenager we were, tulikuwa tunashika pesa ya bwana nikaona anakufia mainama hivi kama gani ni mlevi akasema yeye hutoka nyumbani saa moja anaambia wazazi ameenda kanisa lakini huenda town anakunywa pombe na anafanya sex vile anapata wako kwa group anakuja ibada saa tatu na nusu na parents cannot detect na utaona sometime ana disappear kwa nyumba na hajulikani yako wapi and those wars are severe na kama wazazi hatutaomba tuwe tu wanaume wa kawaida wanawake wa kawaida na kuambia huu uze wako uze wako hauna nguvu sana kama wewe sio nabii wa family na kama hutazaa watoto katika imani na mamlaka ya Bwana there is a problem somewhere there's a problem Samuel Bwana asifiwe. Na katika hiyo hali 
wana taktik za kugawa wazazi unakuta mtoto wako anayeharibika kuna vile anawagawa mama na mama anawa divide kama ni mama unasemaje nitakufa na yeye hata kila kwa mashimo si ndio na baba anasema pana shindwe you you realize you are being divided by a kid and things are becoming difficult hello bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe sana na unagundua kwamba kama utakuwa kuhani na nabii na rafiki wa ule mtoto muelewe now things are becoming difficult unagundua mambo unagundua ukishika simu yake huyu msichana wako na kaka form 2 Ah, things are funny. Unakuta mtoto anakuambia sasa bishop kana something? Anakuambia alianza usharati akiwa standard 4. Mmoja niambia bishop wazazi wangu si waelewi. Nilianza kutumua vibaya ni kwa standard 4. Tuliwekwa kitada moja. Kuna kamoja niuliza hapa. Ka, Karibu na kaingia ofisi. Kata kadoka kaambia wewe kunjo si zuidwe hapa tu hapo na wazee wewe kwenda. Kaambia ah acha kakuje. Nikamuuliza how are you? Yes. Eh, umewahi kuona mtu anakuguza ile kitu yenu? Unajua sasa hivi mimi kulizaka hivyo. Mimi mimi na mamlaka kuliza hivyo. Ngio kiulizo tachapuka wewe. Gani bishop? Hiyo hiyo. Ii. Ah, ni hiyo eh. My brother. Hiyo my brother eh, my brother. My brother inifanyia. Paka nikamwambia hii tabia si nzuri. A tiny girl in the church brother yake ndiye amekuwa kirana na yeye wewe mama unaona wakicheza na brother yake pale hii pale nje bedroom kitada ya brother ni hii na dada hii lakini unakuta for about four years wamekuwa mume na mke in your house may the lord help us now bwana asifiwe Unakuta kuna maisha mengine. Kwa nyumba yako kuna maisha aina tatu. Siku hizi you even discover now kumeanza sasa movement ya wamama kwamba dada wakienda biashara na mikutano na masafari yao kama mama hatasimamia imani uka, utakuta mke wako naye ana maisha mengine. maisha mengine wacha ile unajua ya marriage kuna ingi vile wanadaka na wamama kuna maisha mengine katika ile vikundi na kuna kile wewe unakuta wewe mzee uko peke yako hapo kusema wewe ni head wewe ni head wa nini and that's why we are saying friends in the name of Jesus we must receive anointing and david to remove the shame na hii kitu utaepuka. Daudi hakuwa Goliatho kwa kugojea Goliatho aondoke. Daudi hakuwa Goliatho kwa kufikilia. Daudi aliua Goliatho in actual attack. Ni jiwe alitupa. Likaingia kwa kichwa. Goliatho akakufa. Daudi akaenda akaona hii ni maiti. Akatoa upanga wa goliatho akakata kichwa cha goliatho akabeba hivi it is actual war ni kugonga kabisa amen huwezi gojea goliatho aishe na haja rushiwa jiwe na huwezi huwezi assume goliatho amekufa kama hujaenda kanyage kichwa chake na ukate watu wapendo wape, wacheni kuepuka the real war pokea guvu na up pako to face goriath na hakikisha amekufa hiyo roho imeenda 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 haleluya nitakuuliza swali goriath alipokuwa kiuawa kulikuwa na how many, kulikuwa na attack ina gapi number one, ujue jiwe jiwe ni vita lakini kilicho nyuma ya jiwe ni upako there was kulikuwa na physical and spiritual and spiritual was using the physical 
wakati ndio unasema kwamba naja kwako naja si ati ni roho anatuma fulani naja kwako somebody should rise up in this church na any spirit ambao imekuwa kikutia uoga any spirit ambayo imekudhi haki sasa ijue kwamba somebody anasema naja kwako i'm actually coming kwa jina la Mungu aitwaye Jehova ambaye majeshi yake umeadhi haki na akasemaje today sio kesho today dega wangani watafurahia musoga wako wewe na akasemaje na leo leo itajulikana kwamba kuna Mungu Israeli it involves physical mental and spiritual kutupa jiwe jiwe haikuwa roho ni jiwe riu kugogwa kichwa ni kugogwa riu kwa maana kuna watu angalia huinua mambo hivi baba saidia hawa watoto saidia hii biashara kuna wakati ambapo nasema i am coming in the name of jehovah it's i coming ni mimi nitakuwa hapo na tutaonana uso kwa uso hakuna mambo utakaa chini jifanye Yes, time has come useme I am coming now. It is physical led by the spiritual. Naja kwako sasa, hiyo ni physical. Katika jina la Jehova, Mungu wa majeshi ya Israeli, hiyo sasa ni backing of spiritual. Na kutuma wewe, it's you to face the issue. But you are doing it in the name of Jehovah. Hallelujah. This new we kwa soko. Soko where you sell things. Kwa family where you live. Utaka ukae na kuna mambo ambao hampatani uso kwa uso umekisho imeisha na ukae miaka kumi upate maisha. Hakuna kitu kitajimaliza somebody must say one day I'm coming. I am coming. I am coming. Somebody must say kuna issue imekuwa ikiendelea katika my son, my daughter that now I want to face it like David and Goliath. Nimejipatia ni munda ni hakikishe issue imeisha. Sigojei tena kwa ukuta. Sigojei tena kwa barabara. Today I'm coming. Today I'm coming. Nimetangaza majira ya kungana jambo. Kuna jambo kwa familia yenu ambao haujawahi ishughulikia. Munaika aturi na kaa. Na the more na kaa, the more inakuwa gumu na the more kuna kuwa na ushetani. Kuna issue mko na your husband. Kuna issue mko naye katika your family. Umeiacha tu hivi hivi uzeeke. Time has come you handle the issue. Ili uishi maisha ukijua kwamba who are you where are you and what is your identity Kwa maana kuna watu wamekaa bila jina Hello Waza tujue kama we ni muka wa muka wa nani wa eh, muka wa waidherero au muka wa Jane au wa Nyango let's be clear Watu wengine hapa hata wale wameolewa hapa si do uko naye miaka yote miaka 20 ni mume unakaa naye mume wa mtu you can't prove you're married you can't mwana mnyangalia vizuri nyinyi wa mama kuna watu hapa wamezaa watoto na mtu kwa mama alikuja hapa wamenunua matatu hizi matatu hizi mnana hapa ROG bili mpya na ni yeye hasa mama alitoa pesa kabia mzee da nuna zetu za family eh za family gani uliolewa lini before we talk about family can you establish the truth umeona ile katiba imesema siku hii uhuru sign inasema hakuna hakuna doa itatabulikana bila kuadikishwa sheria house na harusi kufanywa na certificate kupeanwa siku hizi kuna mama tulikuwa tuna apply kwenda America na kuambia tukampa statement ya millions tukamsaidia akaambiwa na oh mama you are married yes where is your husband ako 
bring my certificate. Asama, hatuna sasa. Akaba, there's no way. According to the government, hakuna doa. Sikuizo ata NHIF. Iyo ka insurance kadoko kadoko common. Imekua issue. Unamabua, is this your wife? Yeah, unamulipia, yes. Na, sasa wanadai marriage certificate. Do you know katiba pia imeaza kuadika maba ya dawari? Ati na itakapo tolewa kuwe Na dawari wa pedo siku hizi ataka kuwa signed. That's why tunapatia form mukeda dawari. Ati na iwe kuwekwa sahihi na waze wawili walio kuweko. It's in the constitution. Mna siku hizi ya rusi kifanywa, tunatuma sharia house. Kitabo ufanya rusi hapa, imetangazwa sharia house maratatu. Na inakuwa gazetted. Kawasa kama bajimio yake ya chuzi itakuwa, itakuwa gazetted. Na huyu anawa huyu tarehe fulani maali fulani. Hello, praise God. Sasa nakuliza. We ni muka wa mutu na ni yagani. Ispokuwa kuzaa. Na kuzaa. Kunagi mutu anazawa watu watu ata kumi amezana na mugiriyama, mohede, moikaba. Bora tu beko ingie. Kuzaa si kuolewa. <laughs> Na wana watu wanaadiakalia vibaya. Mimi leo misi juku wapedeza. Naja kubiri ma ijiri ya yesu. Kuna mambo. Ukika, kama umama. Duno muzea liyaga. Uh, umama. Muzea liyaga. Na ikawa. Ii katiba hiko. Haiku wa signed. Katiba ilie kuweko. Ilikuwa dangerous. Baba. Ya mume wake. Aliada kwa dio. Akasema dio. Niko hapa. Nataka umu na muke ya proof. Nilini alifanyika muke wakijana yangu. Prove it. Diyo wakasema mama, leta marriage certificate. Sina. Haya, leteni ile record. Ata kama huna, ile record. Ilionyesha kwaba, kuna wakati wazazi wako. Na umuze, walikutana, wakatoa mahali. Sina. Matatu zote bidi zichukriwa. Zikapewa babu. Amanejit kwa ajili ya watoto. Babu aliabia dio, huyu ni kahaba aliyepata watoto na my son. Mambo iliyoachwa, kuna mambo fake. Don't we usiishi maisha nini fake. Kama unalea watoto, lea watoto in a definite way. Wacha mtoto akikua ajue yeye ni nani. Hapana lea watoto kama wako kwa hewa. Ata watakuwa na akiri. Ukizeeka. Hamoni huku itasweria. Hawas. Eh? Hawahidi. Anaitwa sijui science son. Science son. Do you know kena kwa wahidi? Mutoto wa stada de three. Muhidi ya kilinua gani wabia. Kuja hapa. Do we buy this one? Inakupendeza. Nani katoto katoko? Son. Iri mapema kanaza kujua kwaba. Truly, I'm somebody in this Nakanabwa, look at the registration. Sha and son. You are son. Tunurwe idoli. Nizuri. Tadi nizuri. Kanaza kujua. Yeye nina. Do you know why our children wanashida? Anafika meka kumina nane. Meka jina tano. Na akoto kwa hewa. Yeye ni sani tu. Hivo. Lakini yusio. Hakuna kitu kinafanywa. Hakuna kitu kimefanywa. Tajibo. Za kumonisha kwa ba. Wewe ni murithi. Wewe ni mutu wa maana in this family. Boana inuliwe sana. Na mjia siku hizi kumepadrika. Succession. Ukeda kotini. Lakina ukeda kotini sababu ya succession ya my dad and mom. Wanaume ebu nuambie. All sisters, all sons and daughters huitu wa kotini. Ms. Jagi. Sakshani ya your mom and dad utaitwa ukisema taka nusu ya shaba ya gong you must be given Mambo ya kwamba wanaume ndio hurithi kikatiba imeisha Dota hata kama ameolewa Sheria haijui kuolewa najua ni wewe ni mtoto wako Jeria kisema mimi nataka ile gari ya dadi <laughs> Na ipitishwe lazima tapewa Hello, praise God. Sasa kumebadilika. Na lazima mambo mtu ayangalie. 
kama Daudi anapomnenea nani Goliath anamwambia ni leo na ninakumalizia leo ili ijulikane kusikae bila kujulikana ili ijulikane kuna Mungu Israeli na anaitwa Yehova na ijulikane wewe huna haki ya kuongea mbele ya huyu Yehova hata hujatahiliwa wewe si mtu wa gano. clear issues clear issues jambo la pili as i finish now because of time nikasema deal with the devourer ngangana na yule alai devourer ipo ikuangalia hiyo jina katika malakai chapter 3 verse 8 to 10 bible imetaja kitu kinaitwa yule alai kama tutafauru siku hizi we must overcome yule alai this is if you are where kama hakika you are resisting satan you must overcome the spirit of devourer otherwise utaishi miaka yote yule alai unafugua biashara inaanguka unaanza family inaisha unafungua duka inaisha ukija hapa unaabudu lakini you are confused worshipper let's speak the truth Inakuwa sande the only thing we do to you ni kukutuliza. Hata kama imeanguka jipe moyo. Tutakuotia moyo namna hiyo. Hata kama mzee amekotoroka jipe moyo. Hata kama unalia usiku wote jipe moyo. Tutakuhubiria ijile. Kuna wakati we don't preach, not preach that way. Kuna wakati wa kusema a modern congla through Christ who love me. Kuna wakati wa kusema wapendwa ile nduka yangu nilifungua sasa kila siku naingiza million kuna wakati ambapo si kuambia watu haijalishi haijalishi kama umetupwa haijalishi kama una wazazi haijalishi kama nini haleluya hata kama ule una wazazi tell your son or your daughter mimi sina wazazi but you people have parents mimi si kufanya harusi lakini you mtafanya harusi nyinyi mimi na baba yenu tulikuwa wenye dhambi tell your children sisi hatukufuata ile mwana wa bishop akiwa kanisani but you hamtafuata hiyo yetu ni baya kama ni single mother tell your son and daughter mwambie ma single mother because sikujua jia za haki lakini nyinyi nimewalea kwa jia za haki no single mother no single father mtafanya harusi speak the truth otherwise injili ya kuambia watu kila wakati haijalishi kama umetupwa haijalishi kama umedungwa kisu Oh takufa tukwambia haijalishi. Haijalishi kwa nini? Haijalishi kwa nini? Haijalishi kama kuna mtu amekunyonga uta. Tutasema haijalishi paka tukija siku ya siku ya ya ya, 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 ya mazishi ma haijalishi kama umekufa. Na sasa hiyo umekufa na miaka 20. Sometime tukienda mazishi tuone tunazika mtu wa miaka 20, miaka 30. We should raise up our heads and say now we stop death of young people this family. Kwa Bible nasema kwamba utaona watoto wako na watoto wa watoto wako. Bible naongea kuhusu Job aliposhida aliona hata kizazi cha tatu cha ine. na akafa na amani. Bible nasema kwamba na Abraham akawa mzee sana na akabarikiwa na kila kitu. Kama tumejengwa juu ya misingi hawa wazee, we should claim some riches. Haleluya. Sisi wa uzao wa Eli, there's no mahali tunaitwa wa Eli. Eli aliabuaje atalaaniwa na laana mpaka atakaye sikia laana za nyumba ya Eli ataumwa na masikio atawashwa that's too bad na Mungu aliapa mara tatu akasema nyumba ya Eli as long as dunia ipo hakuna mtu hiyo nyumba atazeeka watakuwa na laana ya premature death laana ya pili akasema wakati wote nitabariki dunia watu wa nyumba ya Eli wataomba msaada kwa waliobarikiwa that's too bad laana ya tatu wasema wakati wote dunia nitainua watumishi sitakubali mtu wa damu ya eli asimame kwa madhabahu yangu aye mtumishi three cases hatuwezi ingia kwa hiyo hapana wapendwa haleluya si vizuri wishi kama eli bwana paka mungu aseme atakutendea kitu mpaka mtu atakaye sikia na washa na masikio now we need to destroy the devourer let me read this verse and then we pray katika kitabu cha Malakai, Malakai, there's hii roho kama hutaiangalia itamaliza watu. Unaingia kanisa. 
duka yako imeisha tukambia haijalishi kama imeisha haijalishi kwa nini hujalipa nyumba hujalipa school fees kwa nini haijalishi hello bwana asifiwe nyumba yako imechomeka mara mbili haijalishi kama imechomeka kama mara kumi hai haijalishi kwa nini wow we must watch duka yako imeibua mara nne haijalishi hata wakija mara kumi oh nikii inajalisha dada moja alikuja akaambia amevutwa kazi mwezi wa june nikaambia tresha let the record ya taji kaambia sisa says please through uliacha kutoa taji lini mwezi wa no alivutwa kazi julai aliacha kutoa taji may na huyu dada mpaka leo kuna kitu kitendeka mika ni msaba bishop nimesikia boss na ni boss yangu anasemaje kuna mtu analeta achukue my position nikaambia god speak to me lord my sister uri thought tithe last month asa oh nilisahau nikalipa school fees nikaambia sikuombei and tithe last month kopa pahali na utoe ikiwa na 5% on top na kwa hivyo ujamaa hataweza she did that na hiyo kitu we, the devourer was stopped na ni data kwa kazi permanent almost a supervisor driving that huo mwezi tu alikosa kutoa fungu la 10 akalipa school fees mungu aliondoa the protection na yule alaye akaingia msicheza Musi, na hadi za mungu na ukiishi maisha ambao you are allow the devourer hii roho ya devourer is very painful bible inasema katika malaki chapter 3 verse 10 inasema hivi inasema hivi leteni fugu la 10 zakat of tithe leteni tithe fugu la 10 kamili garani and the secret ni kamili we niwaambie siri hapa hata wajui the secret of tithe ni hii jina kamili sio watu wengi utoa tithe unatoaga hata ya mshahara lakini kwetu go sio tithe because unless ujue siri ya jina kamili hutabarikiwa you need to discover the kwa nini Mungu alisema fungu la kumi na akaongeza kamili is because the secret is in discovering the kamili niwaambia kuna kijana tile jarishekeza I I got a bishop. Hiyo mambo wasema ufunua fungu la 10 nataka kujua. Nataka nataka baada. Akasema nataka kuwa very careful. Hata nikipewa shilingi 10 na dad, shilingi moja natoa. Hata nikipewa 50 ya kununua ya lunch, shilingi 5 natoa. Nataka kugundua siri na ufunuo wa fungu la 10. And then the boy came after we got a bishop nataka kuona. Kama na bishop siogope leo siji kuomba pesa because ni namjua akiwa very poor naanza kukuambia i have discovered malachi chapter 3 verse 10 nimeanza ka biashara hapo nje nyumba yetu na niwepata within 2 days faida ya 4000 na ni teenager pesa ambao baba yake hapati leo family party as a bishop i have now known what it means kutoa fungu la kumi kamili wapendwa labda katika watu 100 is according to god is only me two who give tithe we utoa fungu la kumi lakini siri ni fungu la kumi kamili ku discover hii jina fungu la kumi kamili it's quite involving i know what it means leo nikiambia baba kioni hii ngi bidi i don't know kwa nyama baba jimi is very hard to tithe hiyo ni nyama. Tuna you don't be no give tithe. Issue is kamili. Give the complete. Nikiwa papa home tukifa kikopi nimwambie sasa mimi leo sikuli lakini deni hapa na baba kadhua na nyina ama si di hali ama. Hali kwa mulia nyama. Hapo kuna tithe. It's very hard. Mpaka we sensitive kwa jina kami. Hapo ndio issue iko. Hata nyinyi wake Uh, niachie kitu ichukua hiyo 5000 uende uende nini saloon do you give tithe ni saloon 
That's why people stay in the church. You, you think you give tithe, but you don't give. Because the secret, Yakushida Yule Alai, is to know the meaning of the word Kamili. Fungu Lakumi Kamili. And job number two is how you give it. Asema, ileto katika storehouse ya mungu. That's why I always tell people, okija kanisani, don't give tithe. Kuna wantu nakuta, okija kanisani, kuna mwigia lipea watchman tithe. But watchman, hata haja wako kalabu ni mukora. Unapea mwishika mwingina tithe kwa mlango pale. How do we know yifika? Make sure but God talks about storehouse. Tithe ifike storehouse. Do you know kuna makanisa about tithe haifiki katika gara la buwana inamalizikia kwa mifuko ya wazewa kanisa ashas na wachugaji. It never entered the storehouse. Na basema kiwe mo chakura. We need to, that's a secret of leadership. Account ya kanisa haitakiwi kuwa haina pesa. Do you know God demands chakura katika storehouse? Kwamba katika mahali pesa ya mungu inawekwa. God akitaka kusema leo. Nijegewe nyumba isiri. Gara ikona chakura yake. Tutume watu arusha wakahubiri. Gara ikona pesa ya huduma. It has a lot of meaning. Fungu la kumikamili, madhabahu unaotoa, na vile katika gara rabwana, kanisa huweka chakura ya kifaume, chakura ya huduma. Bwana idure sana. Hallelujah. Kuna kati moja ni perekea waze wengine pesa, na nwaze, I think it was 300,000. And I... Nilijua katika hiyo pesa, kuna pesa ya huduma. Kurudi after one hour. Nataka shiringibiri ya fotokopi. Nikaabua, wakatu litua tu hapo, hapo. Ilishia hapo, hapo. Makuhani, don't join any ministry. Because kuna so many ministries these days. Ambazo, taithi hupokerewa vizuri. Lakini haifiki kwa gara la buwana. Unakuta like now ministry. Kama hii kati unikanisa. Hii sasa is, is a system. Yetu is a complete system. System ya hali ya juu sana. Now, unapata kwamba pesa imeingia diyo hii. Account imeandikwa pasta na muke wake. Lakini registration kwa registrar ni pasta muke wake na mtoto wake. Account ni pasta na muke wake. Na wangalia. Umetowa million, lakini kwa jina nini? Jina ya hiyo ministry. Lakini it will add up kwa family. Iso ise, wataeda tuwa withdraw, watransfer kwa account yao. So, unapata kwamba Kuna kanisa people remain poor throughout. Si kwa sababu mtu watoi, ni kwa sababu ya vile gara, ram, gara store ya mungu katika hiyo huduma, katika hiyo kanisa inakaa. That's why I always tell you, ni mekupa ruhusa, uede kwa ofisi, uagalie member number one, ni bishop watimo. Go and check my tithe. You know why? If you check, check. I want to check because mimi hubarikiwa through tithing. Na ilimu nekwabia kitu. If I don't give tithe, nyinyi mutaisha. Because I'm the priest wa hamadhabahu. Na baraka pia inamata. Kama pastor, au bishop, hawa waze, hawa toy fungu la kumi. Wanaharibu madhabahu. Unakuta muzea na inua mikono anaombea sadaka. Na hakuna, ye ni mukora. Ninasema ubalikiwe. Na nukapatia meza ya buwana. And yet, mukono nakupa mkate ni mukono wa mukora. We need, to, there's what we call the priesthood. Lakini, in this sense, asema, fungu la kumikami, 
ili kwa maana kuna roho inaitwa roho ya ule alaye na kama mugu hata hutapata favor ya fugu la kumi mugu it is god who fights the devourer the bible says something check verse 10 nasema nini nitafungua madrisha ya mbinguni ni wamwageni baraka hata isiwepo nafasi ya kutosha au la namba 2 nami kwa ajili yenu verse 11 kwa ajili yenu nitamkemea yule alaye wala hata haribu mazao ya ardhi yenu wala msabibu wenu hautapukutisha matunda yake kabla ya wakati wake katika mashaba yenu asema bwana wa majeshi hello praise god now the key thing is this god will rebuke the devourer amen hata kura mazao ya ardhi yenu na msabibu wako pia ukikua hautamwaga matunda kabla wakati wake lazima msabibu wako ufike maeneo ya mazao maeneo ya faida haskizeni kama mugu hataraani yule alaye kwa maana anasema ni yeye hulaani ni yeye hulaani yule alaye kwa ajili yetu then wapendwa tuko na shida unakuta kanisani unaabudu na una shida but your life is real because ukitoka hapa kesho uko kazi sio ni maisha real kukula kuvaa eh kulipa nyumba is real kama mugu hatalaani yule alaye kwa ajili yako aruhusiwe nataka musikize you will be living a hopeless life very discouraging maisha ambao mwenye anatakiwa kulaani yule alaye amemruhusu aje haijalishi utaenda mpaka wapi as long as mugu hajalaani yule alaye maisha yako itakuwa haina faida utakuwa na mviringo hivi Unakuto umeinuka unaisha. Umeanza kwa biashara kameanguka. Umefurahia ukichukua loan inaisha. Una, inaitwa maisha ambao yule alaye hakulaaniwa na Mungu habari haidi kumlaani. It is our duty to know. Kitu kaitwa siri ya fungu la kumi kami. Hiyo ni kitu to discover. People don't give whole tithe. Wanatoa tu tithe ya mshahara na hiyo itabidi mtu you need also to give tithe of time siku iko na masaa 24 are you hearing this friends how do you spend a whole day kazini 2 hours 40 minutes should be sent spent in the altar nimekuwa kazini lakini nimetafuta muda jioni au wakati wa fellowship masaa mawili na dakika 40 hiyo nimetoa fugu la kumi ya siku yangu kama wewe unapatikana tu on a sunday sunday sio tithe sunday siku ya kuabudu do you give tithe of the day nimekuja masaa mawili na dakika 40 nikaosha kanisa nimekuja masaa na dakika 40 kuobea bishop nimekuja 2 hours 40 minutes fellowship ya jioni I give tithe of the day. Unajua Mungu is so sensitive to those things. So sensitive. Na yeye mnikwambie ni vizuri kuwa sensitive mambo ya tithing. We need to deal the spirit of devourer. Now we don't have time now. Um <clears throat> I just want to mention this. You need also what we call covenant life. See covenant life. Do for you to kumalizia kabisa kuwa mushidi overcoming the devil start a covenant walk anza mambo yako na Mungu ambao daima utayatunza hutayaribu usiwe mtu ambaye haeleweki na maraika haeleweki na serikali ya binguni haeleweki people fear you hello Bwana asifiwe. Kuna wadada hapo umeolewa lakini you don't have your husband. Hujui kama anaweza agamia, anaweza kukuacha, anaweza lala nje kwa maana hakuna mambo inao 
inaitwa agreement of covenant ukiangalia katika genesis chapter 12 inasema bwana akamwambia abraham toka kwa inchi yako na jamaa yako na nyumba yako uende mpaka inchi nitakao kuonyesha nami nitakufanya wewe kuwa taifa kubwa na kukubariki na kulikuza jina lako na wewe baraka nami nitawabariki wa kubarikio naye akulaanie nitamlaani na katika wewe jamaa zote wa dunia watabarikiwa basi Abraham akaenda kama bwana alivyo muamuru ukiangalia aya saba inasemaje bwana kamtokea Abraham akasema uzao wako nitawapa nchi hii enda mwanzo 17 Mungu akatokea tena Abraham alipokuwa mtu wa miaka 90 kenda Bwana akamtokea akamwambia mimi ni Bwana mwenyezi uende mbele yangu ukae mkamilifu nami nitafanya agano langu kati yangu mimi na wewe nami nitakuzidisha sana Abraham akaanguka kifudifudi Bwana akamwambia akasema mimi agano langu nimefanya nawe na utakuwa baba mataifa can you start a covenant to work with God. Covenant ni, ni covenant number one. No abia siri. You cannot complete covenant kama huja pea mungu space akuabie. Because covenant hudhibitisho na mungu. Narudia tena. Hawezi maliza maagano na mungu kama huja musikiza kidogo. Akuabie sasa nataka hivi na hivi. Kuna wakati mungu atakwambia kwamba nataka kila mwezi ufanya hivi. Nataka kila Jumapili ufanya hivi. Dio sasa hata kama kuna yale mengine unaweza ongezea jabra because mwenye ufanya covenant iwe powerful na iwe effective mwenye kuitimiza na mwenye kukubariki ni Mungu na wewe sasa kazi yako ni kutunza. Keep the covenant and God will bless you in the covenant. Na mungu atajikomit kwa covenant because ulimpatia space ya kukuabia yeye huwa anatakaji na wewe. Katika covenant life, demons have no space. Katika covenant life, satanism has no space. May God bless you, God keep you. Resist and stop him. Part 4, diyo hiyo leo. Sama ito shukuru mungu.